in the following talking, I'll try to uh, show you uh, the study we have done about uh, finding the factors that might affect the retreatment rate after refractive surgery. Uh, I have no financial uh, issues to disclose. So if we look at the uh, literature in the, last, in the last decade and more than that, we find out that the retreatment rate has decreased during the, the years from 16% to 6.3%. Uh, uh, Since then, uh, we got more innovations in the technology. We got better nomograms. We got much more experience. And then we got better visual acuity uh, results from the refractive surgery. And the purpose of this study was uh, to find out the present trends in retreatment rates and to identify the risk factors for the retreatment after a laser surgery. It is a retrospective study. Either a LASIK or PRK were performed, mainly performed by five highly volume surgeons in a big center, a laser center in the the biggest city in uh, Israel, Tel Aviv. And patients were uh, urged, encouraged uh, to return if vision deteriorated after the laser has been done. And laser enhancement in that case uh, offered the uh, free of charge. So we, we had uh, uh, an idea that if a patient would have retreatment, he would come back to us. We checked, we checked demographic, we checked refraction, spherical equivalent, uh, cylinder, uh, keratometric power, keratometric axis, and we checked intraoperative uh, data, like if it was LASIK or PRK, what was the thickness of the central of the cornea, humidity and room temperature, which optic zone give you more retreatment, and which eye, and of course, which surgeon did the surgery, if, this is, if there is a difference between surgeons. It was standard LASIK or PRK. Uh, we used the Wavelight uh, Allegretto 200. Now, the uh, strength of this study is by the, the number of the eyes that have been uh, uh, operated. This group operated over 40,000 uh, eyes in over uh, 20,000 patients. Uh, male and female were almost uh, the same. And we found that the overall retreatment rate was 0.1. 2.1 percent in uh, over than 850 patients. We then tried to analyze what happened during the years, and we found that something good happened on year 2007, where the rate has dropped even below uh, 2 percent. And we believe that what happened in 2007 that caused this, that we just moved to from written charts to uh, digital electronic uh, medical records and no more the scenario that uh, you write what you need to do, then you transfer it to the technician, the technician put it in the machine. What you decide to do in the first uh, visit, that's what's going on the machine on the time of the treatment of the patient. So, if we, if we look about the preoperative data, I will summarize to you the most important things. We find out that uh, older patients tend to have more retreatment. Uh, when the cylinder was high, there was more retreatment, and especially there were more retreatment in the hyperopia group. 
PRK has more uh, tend for retreatment than uh, LASIK. And we find out that if the temperature in the room while doing the surgery was lower, there was higher rate of uh, retreatment. Now we try to analyze uh, all this data and if we are looking about the cylinder, we found out that the higher the cylinder, the more uh, retreatment rate. As, as was said before, in the haperopia group, there was more retreatment. When cor corneal pachymetry was lower than 450, there was more uh, retreatment. About temperature, as was said, when the temperature was less than 22 uh, centigrade at the room, there was much higher uh, retreatment. In the ablation, we found that the more we do in ablation, there was more tent for retreatment. And the older the patients, above age of 60, there was more tent for retreatment. Now we come to the surgeons to see if there is difference between the surgeons who were doing uh, surgery. And we did found that there were uh, two surgeons with the five experienced surgeons who had more retreatment group, which means they need to improve themselves. And as was expected, with uh, surgeons who has less experience with uh, refractive surgery, there was more retreatment rate. Doing multiple uh, regression uh, analysis uh, gave us the same uh, uh, fact that age, cylinder, hyperopera, temperature, and surgeon are factors that might affect the rate of uh, retreatment. What are the limitations of the study? It is a retrospective one, it's not a prospective one. We didn't, we didn't uh, check uh, several factors that we later on thought that should, should be checked. And in addition, uh, we might not have all the patients who had retreated, because some patients might uh, uh, prefer not to come back to this center that gave us uh, uh, such miserable uh, results and might go and even pay in another, in a, in another uh, surgeon, uh, center. So in conclusion, uh, preoperative pre age, high cylinder, hyperopia, operating room temperature, low temperature, and surgeon's experience has a effect on the rate of uh, retreatment. And if you take this into consideration and make an analysis of your results, of a sur surgeon's results, you might improve your nomogram, and de therefore you might reduce future retreatment rates. Thank you.